and in Denmark here and just a very quick postcard from our little uh, Easter trip to Sweden where surprise surprise I managed to find a winter bathing place and I've just been in the water it's a wee bit uh, warmer than it is back home in Copenhagen um, but it's a beautiful beautiful quiet uh, place here and in fact I'm the only person around anyway let's go and see something else okay so I have finished my uh, my swim in the sea in the uh, in the Baltic, and here here's me and my friends. Uh, we're, and, and luckily, I've got my clothes back on again, so it's all right. You you can look now. Uh, now I'm at the top of a lake. I'm I'm picking up the family here. Uh, I, I'm really not into rambles and hikes in the forest. They they love that kind of thing. And you can see this area there in Sweden. Uh, Sweden is full of uh, forests. Anyway, I decided to stay beside uh, the coast and go in the water. I'm picking up the family here. They have been on a 13 kilometer ramble and hopefully they will be meeting me here very soon. They took a packed lunch with them. I had my packed lunch. Uh, but you can see it's really, really quiet here. Nothing around here. The only kind of uh, wildlife around here are uh, elks. Of course, we're in Sweden. Um, ospreys. And uh, of course, a, a lot of uh, waterfowl, a lot of different birds. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and put a map up there so you can see where, where we actually are in Sweden. But uh, anyway, I'm going to keep my voice down because it's just so beautifully quiet and idyllic. Can you hear that? Only the birds <laughs> and hopefully the family. Anyway, see you on the other side. Wow, and look what I found down here at the edge of the water. I'm going to have to come back another time when this is open. They have their own little uh, sauna, or bastu as they call it in Swedish, out on the water. Look at that, just a tiny little one. It looks like you're sitting in a little a little drum and I can see it hasn't been open since last year because it says uh, there is a ban on any kind of bonfires that's because we had such such a hot summer last year all bonfires and and uh, barbecues were banned but look at that it's not fantastic can you imagine swimming out there in the lake and then coming in sitting in the sauna If I ever become a millionaire, that's what I'm going to build for myself, uh, a little sauna on the edge of the lake or on the edge of the sea. Oh, can you can hear motorbikes, unfortunately. Let's go around this way, watch you don't fall in. The water looks very nice and clear. And you can see that's a hotel up there called uh, Fritzatorpet. I'm just going to come and have a look right down at the waterfront and as you can see I am the only person here it's very quiet that's what I find is quite spooky about the uh, the forest it's so quiet the forest nobody can hear you scream anyway this is a lovely part I love being, beside being the water You hear that? Total silence. Breathe in, breathe out. Enjoy just a quiet moment by the lake. Anyway, let's backtrack a little and tell you how we got to Sweden. We uh, went there by car and we took the Öresund Bridge, which is the bridge which connects Denmark and Sweden. 
And our first port of call was the very old city of Lunt. Lunt is a cathedral town and a university town. And the Swedes can actually date it back a thousand years. So very, very old town, uh, very quaint. And wherever you go in Sweden at Easter time, you'll see lots of branches outside shops and stores and people's homes um, decorated with feathers. You can see the feathers being sold here at, the, uh, at Lunt Market along with lots of um, bedding plants for spring. It all looked um, very nice in sunshine. And we went into Saluhallen, which is an indoor food market. Uh, and, and in there you can browse all the different, uh, you know, pastry shops and uh, fresh chocolates. Uh, this is the butcher's counter. There's a, a fresh fish market. And also inside there, are, of course, lots of uh, cafes and, and small restaurants where you can have a, a spot to eat. So we had our, our lunch uh, in Lund and then we had a walk around the city. Remember your comfy shoes, there are lots of cobblestones just like, uh, just like here in Copenhagen. And it, it really is a, a beautiful city, it's very, very cosy and you can understand why, why students uh, love living here at the, uh, at the university. That, that, this is Lund Cathedral and um, there were services going on. We went inside, not for, the, uh, not for the Monday Thursday service, but we actually had a quick look in the crypt, which was uh, pretty spooky. And uh, we took a walk around outside, beautiful sunshine uh, when we were visiting Sweden this Easter, uh, but still quite cold. I actually had my, my scarf and my gloves with me uh, for the morning. And then we moved on to Pukovic. Now, Pukovic is um, a, a very small town and we had rented a cab in there just for a couple of days so that we could celebrate Easter. And we brought some of our uh, Danish Easter spe specialities with us. We had tart later. But anyway, I'll, I'll uh, get back to the, the live filming now. So get ready for that. Okay, well, it's very early in the morning here. I'm actually out for a little run. Here we are. Got my running gear on. I wouldn't turn the camera around and scare you. I've got no makeup on. But I'm down here. The rest of the family are just waking up. And I thought I would come out and see what was happening down here this morning. But all the birds are up early, as you can hear. Seagulls. Hey, I'm going to take a quick run down that way. Um, just just five minutes down, five minutes back again, and then a wee walk around here. Uh, and then it will be time for breakfast. And I can tell you what breakfast is, because the people who are renting out the summer cabin uh, left us a very nice breakfast. Two different types of uh, bread. Uh, one for toasting and one just uh, for normal eating and um, apricot jam, strawberry jam, sliced cheese, uh, there are cornflakes, muesli, um, two pint, uh, sorry, two litres of yoghurt, um, milk and juice and coffee of course and tea. So I think that's everything. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to run down there and then have my breakfast. Um, oh, sorry, I have my shower and then I'm going to have my breakfast and get dressed for the day. Oh, there we go. Lots of geese and uh, swans flying around down here. And then we'll see what else we can find to do today. So after a lovely couple of days spent in Pukavik, we moved on and we headed down the east coast and our next stop was uh, Simri's Haun, which is a beautiful, very picturesque uh, fishing village, complete with a couple of cannons. And we were in Simri's Haun on the Saturday, so the uh, shops and stores were open. Everybody was out uh, having ice cream and uh, shopping at local market. And once again, the streets and the houses, they were all decorated with uh, the branches with the feathers on them. And we decided to have uh, lunch in Seymour Town after we had had a quick walk around the market. We didn't buy any fresh produce or plants at the market, but they had a really good selection of secondhand books, both in Swedish and in English. So we p picked up a few there. Anyway, um, just a, a little fun fact about um, Swedish lunch. Whenever you are in Sweden at lunchtime, you will see there were a lot of offers on for lunch. And when you see the offer for lunch, uh, you know, whether it's something like schnitzel or it could be uh, Swedish meatballs, the price of your lunch will also include uh, usually a drink, uh, bread, salad, you know, if they've got a salad bar and coffee and tea and a biscuit afterwards. So here's the, the coffee and tea. You can just help yourself. 
Here's me with my coffee and my biscuit. And we had uh, pizza that day. And another fun fact about uh, Sweden is whenever you order a pizza, they'll bring you pizza salad. And the pizza salad is pickled cabbage. So there you go. No, not something we have uh, in Denmark. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little whistle-stop tour of uh, the south of Sweden. We are now back for a few days in my beloved place at our Swedish summer house by the sea. There's the sea, there's the harbour down there. Uh, and I'm also going to sit in my favourite spot. I've got a little bench that I like to sit at here. And I'm going to enjoy one of these. And I'll, I'll show you what it is. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, here it is. I, I bought it in the indoor food market when we're in Lund. And I, I don't know if you can see there. It's a tiny, tiny little uh, egg box. And let's have a wee look at, there's a, a picture at the front, and let, let's take a wee look inside. And inside we have some beautiful speckled nougat eggs. And uh, of course I know you all want to try one, so I'm, I'm going to try one. I, I won't film me eating, but I'll, uh, I'll let you have a look. Here we go. And let me see, which one should I go for? Hmm. Oh, let's go for this beautiful blue one. Right. Well, I'll take a wee bite. I'll just let you have a look at the uh, Baltic Sea while we're here. Somebody's left their bucket and spade behind. Mmm. Okay, here you are. Mmm. Nougat eggs. Anyway, let me turn you around once more. So all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Swedish hygge be with you today, wherever you are on the planet. Oh, we've got some swans behind me today. It's not often we see swans down here, but there you go. Uh, anyway, and I shall be back uh, in my usual place, which is probably sitting at my kitchen table, um, doing, doing my usual reports, so I shall see you there very soon. Okay, live long and prosper, and bye for now.